Lucy, get Ida. It wasn't my fault. Besides, she squeezes harder than that boa constrictor I got you for your last birthday. <laughs> I can sympathize with her. I know how irresistible you are. <laughs> you need be jealous of no one. I've been yours since that first day you carved my initials in your leg. I have been yours since the day I first saw you riding the side saddle on a buffalo. Gomez. Morticia. Gomez. Morticia. Gomez. Morticia. <laughs> Beautiful. Just watch me. I'll show you what the man you married is really like. <laughs> Oh, what have I done? A wonderful life together. Our magical moments. Gone. <laughs> Broken. <laughs> Smashed <to> bits. <laughs> You modernists are truly exciting. Darling. Such sweep. Such power. Such majesty. You have a keen eye. Oh, the left one. <laughs> what are you going to call it? Spring song. Perfect. Thank you, darling. I'm Gomez Adams. I'm Morticia Frum. That's my pet pet. <laughs> Kitty cat likes to eat. I like cats. And this is my doll. Her name's Marie Antoinette. I chopped off her head. <laughs> no! No! How's the market, dear? Closed. I just do this to keep in practice. It's very sensible. If there's another crash, you'll be ready for it. <laughs> This is going to be the greatest train wreck in railroad history. <laughs> Gotta switch them onto the same track. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome back, everyone, to the Cannaween episode of the Holistic Cannabis Show, where I am your hostess, Dr. Yolanda Henderson, and I'm joined with... Ann Hendley. <laughs> all right. So you already know what we are, or who we are, right? Right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, in costume, we are costume. supposed to be... You know what? Let's see if they can guess. Let's see who can guess. Yeah. Hmm. Now, if you're at home in front of your spooky <laughs> computer, <laughs> you can pull up statusnetwork.net and mm -hmm. see all of our antiquely, enchantingly conversations. Mm -hmm. Statusnetwork.net. Mm -hmm. You can call us at 470-251-4647 and you can tell us who we are and mm -hmm. you can win something. Yes, you can. If you're on Instagram, you can find us and share us at manifesttv.status on Facebook, manifesttv.status on mm -hmm. Twitter, mm -hmm. status underscore network underscore Amazon Fire Stick and Roku, status network, manifest TV, holistic cannabis show, and on YouTube. Manifest TV. And Manifest TV. Yeah. All right. So we hope everyone had a great holiday weekend. And uh, we did. We had a wonderful weekend. And we shared some wonderful uh, costumes with some wonderful people. We met Waldo. We found we Waldo found, we found this him. weekend. We found Waldo. <laughs> All right. This is probably fun to find Waldo. <laughs> Thank you. Thank no, you, you found me. You found me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, Small yes. Photo. So shouts out to Valerie. Yes, we were in costume, being the people that we are. Look at that Halloween costume. Look at that costume. Yeah, cannabis <laughs> costumes. I like that one. Yes. That one was pretty that cool. That was the blunt, the blunt master. Mm -hmm. All right. I tell you, man, the cannabis <laughs> industry, man, I'm telling you, people try in all kinds of ways to yes. make the money in the cannabis yes. industry these days. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, so we just wanted to say that we are excited about what's going on in all around and we we want to also let you all know that we have a lot of information on cancer and uh, well breast cancer and the cannabis industry so we want to give you that information we have a video that we're going to be sharing with you all right quick to explain how cannabis is actually going through and helping people with breast cancer and by this being breast cancer awareness month right after this The recent legalization of the drug cannabis has taken the medical community by storm. What was once a recreational drug is now being used to treat various health conditions, most prominently pain. Miracle stories regarding cannabis have become more common than ever. However, the efficacy of cannabis in clinical settings remains unclear. This is precisely what this video serves to address. To answer this, we will take a look into how cannabis works by analyzing the endocannabinoid system. Then we will delve into the existing literature regarding the efficacy of cannabis in pain relief specifically in the context of cancer patients, as well as looking at cannabis as a potential biomarker for immunotherapy. The endocannabinoid system is a widespread neuromodulatory system that has a critical role in the human body, typically maintaining homeostasis. Endocannabinoids are mediated primarily by CB1 and CB2 cannabinoid receptors, with CB1 receptors existing in abundance in the brain, whereas CB2 receptors are primarily expressed in immune cells and the hematopoietic system. This system also consists of endocannabinoids and enzymes for synthesis and degradation. Endocannabinoids, which are naturally created by the body, are lipid-based signaling molecules that modulate the endocannabinoid system by binding to cannabinoid receptors. Typically, neurotransmitters such as gamma-aminobutyric acid or GABA are released from the presynaptic neuron and bind to receptors on the postsynaptic neuron, triggering their unique modulatory pathway. The endocannabinoid system is different as it is a retrograde system, which means endocannabinoids are released from the postsynaptic neuron and bind to the CB1 receptors on the presynaptic neuron. This binding event causes the release of excitatory or inhibitory neurotransmitters, which can cause an upregulation or downregulation of specific functions in the body, respectively. In the case of pain regulation using medicinal cannabis, cannabinoids are introduced into the bloodstream and bind to CB1 receptors on the presynaptic neuron, which causes an upregulation of GABA, signaling brain nerves to reduce pain. Now that we understand the endocannabinoid system, we will have a better idea of processing how cannabis relieves pain when administered to patients in clinical settings. Disclaimer. Before we delve into the existing literature, it is worth noting that cannabis research in terms of medicinal treatment is scarce and has only recently become an area of focus. Many studies report contrasting results, perhaps due to inappropriate dosing guidelines or inadequate sample sizes, which may subsequently lead to inaccurate conclusions. This video is not intended for self-diagnosis purposes. Please consult your physician to see if cannabis treatment is right for you. With that being said, Let's look into a systematic review which summarized five primary research papers on cannabis treatment in patients. In the majority of the studies, the oral mucosal spray Novaximol, which includes both cannabidiol or CBD and tetrahydrocannabinol or THC, proved to have better pain management than the placebo and in one study even codeine. Only one study reported contrasting results, which were deemed statistically insignificant due to an insufficient sample size. The review did highlight how interpatient variability, along with the complex symptomology, made it difficult to accurately determine if side effects arose solely because of cannabis or from concurrent medication. In a study by Macari and Company in 2018, a self-reporting system was used in 188 oncology patients of the Baymont Hospital in Michigan, where 46 out of the 188 patients used medicinal cannabis to manage pain symptoms. From these 46 patients, pain, appetite, and anxiety was found to significantly improve, with pain being the most rep frequently reported improvement. Similar results were seen in a Quebec study by Vegano and company, where patients reported significant improvement in pain severity from using medicinal cannabis. In another study, medicinal cannabis did lead to a significant decrease in both tumor progression and overall survival. However, there were adverse effects seen in using cannabis before and during immunotherapy. This is due to the fact that cannabis does lead to a reduced lymphocyte count, which increases the likelihood of immune infection, especially in immunocompromised patients. However, these findings were beneficial as they allowed researchers to investigate whether cannabis could be a potential clinical marker for patient responsiveness to immunotherapy since the microenvironments of CD1 and CD2 receptors alter in different environments, making them a key indicator. 
The importance of microenvironments in terms of tumor progression has also been supported in other studies which suggest that different tumor types would need different cannabis treatment catered to that respective microenvironment. To summarize, from the research that we explored, we can conclude that in the context of cancer treatment, medicinal cannabis has proven to aid in the alleviation of pain symptoms, but not without the risk of some adverse effects and potential immunocompromisation. In addition, the CB1 and CB2 receptor changes in different microenvironments of cancerous tumors can be used as a biomarker to indicate whether a patient could benefit from or adequately respond to cannabis treatments. As mentioned before, the research regarding cannabis as an effective medicinal intervention is scarce, and the conclusions made in different studies are largely inconsistent. Therefore, more research needs to be done before confirming with certainty whether medicinal cannabis can be a prospective treatment. Even though some studies do seem promising, we must be conscious that this is a relatively new field of research that needs more time and rigorous investigation to reap concrete results. We advise our viewers not to self-medicate with cannabis, and if you think you require medicinal cannabis, consult your local healthcare provider to see if it is the right intervention for you. All right, so that's exactly what I was explaining about a week ago on the last episode of how cannabis um, helps with the endocannabinoid system on breast cancer and performing apoptosis. So there are strains of cannabis that does help with that. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the strain of the day and after this, um, you know, information that we have in regards to what else is going on this morning. So we want to shout out all of the birthdays for October. There's some more. Uh, Martinez Williams we had. Um, we also have... Um, Scarlett. Scarlett had a her um, birthday going on on yesterday. My sister Latasha had her birthday this month. Mr. Henderson, his birthday was on the 19th this month. And uh, anniversaries. We want to shout out everyone who had an anniversary this month. So happy anniversary, happy birthday. And then, um, so there's some information on credit. Mr. Henderson has a wonderful new opportunity for those who are looking to establish business credit. And if you're in the industry of cannabis, how to establish your credit so that you may be able to get on to some of those wonderful benefits of cash and revenue. Yes. <laughs> Ready. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, first you want to establish your EIA. Oh, yeah. Just a little information. Mm -hmm. It's brought to you in part by NTH Credit. NTH Credit dot net. Well, you no longer have to have spooky scores. Mm hmm. Scary. Mm hmm. How to use an EIN number for credit purposes? Well, a nine digit employment identification number, EIN, is approximately to businesses what a social security number is to individuals. They both have nine digits. All right. Now, in order to do that, you, you want to use your EIN and your financial dealings so your reputation of how you treat your trade lines mm -hmm. is very important. Mm -hmm. All right. If you got bad credit on your personal, you didn't pay them credit cards right, don't go burn up the business. All right. Yeah. First, you're going to obtain a Dunn's number from uh, Dunn and Brad Streets. It's sometimes required along with the EIN to establish certain credit relationships. Businesses may also be asked for a TIN, which is called a taxpayer identification number. Mm. Gather basic business information, including the legal name, the structure, the owner, the year of the business that was established, the number of employees, and any DBA names. You'll also need the SIC code which describes your line of business. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, for those of you who may not don't know where to find a, a Duns and Bradstreet number or sometimes referred to as a DNB number, you can call them at 866-705-5711, and you can also go online, all right, F-E-D-G-O-V dot D-N-B. Mm -hmm. All right. The next thing that you want to do is set up your business's legal structure, whether it's going to be an S, so S Corp, a C Corp. Um, typically, a LLC works best. Mm -hmm. um, you don't really want to um, 
go into it too much uh, mm -hmm. if you're a sole proprietor because sole proprietor means that you assume our risk and liabilities, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. means that now you have to have a personal guarantee. Right. So you might want to consider switching that to an LLC. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then you want to go and open a business checking account at your local bank or mm -hmm. credit union. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, when you get this EIN, like I said, you want to take care of those vendors that offer you and extend you trades. Now, some of these businesses require you to have on your trade line a $100 minimum. Mm -hmm. All right? I mean, you have to make a purchase and then pay for that purchase under the business name, and then they access you the credit. Mm -hmm. All right? You can apply for a business credit card after you have established credit using your EIN. If your business is new, you may need to hunt for a issuer. Try small banks in your local community. Uh, if you have difficulty, consider asking for a secure card. Now, if y'all been paying attention to me talk about personal credit, we always talk about those things that's going to build your score Thicken in the portfolio. It's the same thing in business. You could go and, and essentially get six trade lines added to your personal credit in one day. Hmm. How about that? Six. Six in one day. Hmm. You go to Chase Bank, you tell them you want to secure a card. You go to uh, Bank of America, tell them you want to secure a card. Go to Wells Fargo, tell them you want to secure a card. Go to a credit union, tell them you want to secure a card. It's mm -hmm. already four right there. On our website, we offer uh, uh, Credit Strong, uh, the six right there. Mm -hmm. And then um, we offer a lot of other programs. You just have to go on the website to see, mm -hmm. www.nthcredit.net. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, but we was talking about the business. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, there are vendors out there that are, that are willing to to give you the trade, the trade line and the credit limit, especially because of everybody's trying to make a financial comeback from, you know, the COVID and trying to trying to deal with that. So you have a lot of vendors out there that are wanting to support small businesses with funding. But the problem is a lot of small businesses are not fundable. Hmm. I wonder why. Usually that happens because something was wrong on the application. Mm -hmm. Application get denied right then. Mm -hmm. uh, you left out some information about the owner, mm -hmm. what the company name really is. Mm -hmm. Your application is immediately rejected. Mm -hmm. um, you could be one number off on your EIN, you're rejected. All right? So it's important that when you go and try to build this business credit that you have everything lined up and taken care of how it needs to be. Mm -hmm. Now, if you're needing some assistance or some direction of how to get that, reach out to us. You can shoot us an email at uh, nthcredit at gmail.com. There you go. You can go to our website. Sign up for some of the business seminars that we posted on our website, nthcredit.net. Awesome. Thank you very much for that information, Mr. Henderson. You all can touch bases with him, at, like he said, at nthcredit.net. And go on that website because it's uh, being renovated, but it is a wonderful website for you to download information. There's some free information where you can download. Sure some, it is. Some all of our webinars are free. Yes. Yes, do it. All right. So, and if you're trying to get that funding, like I said before, for your business, whether it's a can of business or a regular business, go ahead and go to that website, nthcredit.net. Thank you. All right. So, in other news, we are also celebrating this month 
um, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. All right, so October is Domestic Violence Awareness Month, and we are wearing purple. I know this is the last day for Domestic Violence Month in October, but we just wanted to shout out everyone who has um, gone and had that frightening experience. We also fight against breast cancer with cannabis and breast cancer treatments. We're letting you know how and where you can get those treatments. If you need information and you want the card, you need you have breast cancer, please contact us, 1-888-959-2093. I'm located at 820 Highway 138 in Riverdale, Georgia. I want to help you um, get through this, and we can do it together with your um, combination of natural treatments and remedies, doing the entourage effect with whole plant cannabis medicine. You can be helped. You, cannot, you don't have to go through this alone. You can overcome and fight cancer cancer and get rid of it for good without the, any surgeries. I mean, if, for those who don't want to deal with surgeries and for those who understand chemotherapy is very expensive, we can help you get through this treatment without a lot of money. All right. So in any ways, we have all of our wonderful sponsors and partners that we want to shout out today. Um, we have um, Big Shot Entertainment. Let's sponsor. <laughs> yeah, we are we are really crazy like this for real in real life. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And Big Shot Entertainment is uh, what you do, Mr. Henderson, as well. What else? What can you tell us about Big Shot Entertainment? Big Shot Entertainment is a full service production house based in Riverdale, Georgia. That's right. And uh, we do commercials. Mm -hmm. We. Um, record the beds and okay. then record the voices on top of the beds. All right. Um, we also have live musicians available. Mm -hmm. Anybody needs a band for your event, Thank DJs you. for your event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Need a photographer. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we got them too. Uh, Big Shot Entertainment is more of a, a networking. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't necessarily say community mm -hmm. but it's a uh, it's a group of entertainers there you go there you go and we definitely entertain there you go aim to entertain yeah if you need someone to dress up like a gomez yeah y'all know who to call i'm marticia by the way for those who didn't know who we were <laughs> All right, so study is showing that endometriosis patients report successfully managing symptoms with cannabis, all right? So there's a study participants reported cannabis improved their pain, mood, and mitigated gastrointestinal issues, all right? So that is working on the CB2 receptor. All right, and then there's another study with medical cannabis improving the quality of life in older adults with chronic pain. So older adults are experiencing significantly lower levels of pain following the use of medical cannabis as well as improvements in their sleep anxiety and depression and in overall quality of life mm -hmm. get you some in new york statewide regulations are limited or limit the discriminatory actions against employees who consume cannabis while away from work so employees now who test positive for marijuana will no longer be sanctioned absent articulable symptoms of cannabis impairment okay New York officials also moved to vacate over 400,000 marijuana convictions. 400,000, that's a lot. All right, so for decades, New York State and New York City specifically led the nation in the criminal prosecution of uh, low-level marijuana offenders. Now, Florida survey of state legal medical marijuana patients find that the most reduced their use of prescriptions, over-the-counter drugs, all right? So with cannabis, you don't need those prescriptions. 65% said that they did a lot better and eliminated their use of at least one prescription over are over-the-counter medication following their uh, initiation of medical cannabis. Wow. We're trying to tell you. Actions, action alerts, repeal prohibition, tell your representative to support the historic MORE Act, all right? So you know who they are. You all go write letters, do what you can. 
And then there's tell the President Biden to follow through on your commitment to expunge marijuana records. And then the Senate showdown, tell your senators to engage in forthcoming legislative efforts and for veterans access, urge your lawmakers to pass the Veterans Medical Marijuana Safe Harbor Act. Now in the latest news, normal heads to Cannabis Week in the NYC. Maryland, uh, most residents want to legalize marijuana for adult use. All right, and you can find these details on normal.org. That's the National Organization for the Reform of Marijuana Laws. And again, there's the officials advance home cultivation regulations for qualified patients in New York. So New York is doing it. Show your commitment to legalization in 2022. All right, we're committed uh -oh. to change those laws. Uh oh, I'm moving to New York. Uh oh, I'm moving to New York next. All right, ten great cannabis strains for breast cancer. You can find that on Lee Flea. All right, so there was ten, and we can go through one of those for our uh, strain of the day, Mr. Henderson. Okay. The strain of the day is Tangle, Tangy, Tangy Candy. It's a sativa. Marijuana strain made by crossing California Orange and Skunk One. This strain is a popular choice in Amsterdam and is spreading elsewhere like a the plague. Tangy is a remarkable source of popular versions of Tangerine Dream that was sought out after the 1990s. Mm -hmm. The citrus heritage of Tangy is the most evident in its refreshing tangerine aroma. As a plant, Tangy grows best outside, producing sticky buds that provide euphoric yet relaxed effects. Mm -hmm. Now, People who have used it, 68% of people reported feeling happy. 63% mm -hmm. reported feeling uplifted. Mm -hmm. I feel uplifted when I'm around you. Oh, tell me. 55% <laughs> of people said that they felt energetic. Mm. Energy. Vroom, vroom. Vroom. <laughs> Cannabinoid makeup. Cannabinoid, THC 16%, CBG 1%. Top reported effect was energetic, then that's because largely due to the mercy. Mm -hmm. Great strain. All right, shouts out again to High Horse Farms. You are wonderful in uh, becoming part of the team. So our students will be able to go out to High Horse Farm and look at uh, outdoor grow. And hopefully in the future, we'll be getting together to get a indoor grow facility. Shouts out. And that is here in the state of Georgia. It so is. We don't have to go to California. We don't have to go to Oklahoma, none of those places. So congratulations again to our grads that work in the industry now. Woohoo! Yeah, yeah. All right, so we're now in alliance. <laughs> I love that. So we're now in alliance with um, the King Harvest, mm -hmm. and they will be hiring our students to work with them and provide low-dose TAC oil to patients. Now, they get a QR code. They don't actually have products unless they have a card, of course, because we're in Georgia, and we don't want to be spooked, you know, and uh, go to jail. But uh, so we, we're helping, and also our class is going on right now, the holistic, I'm sorry, the medical cannabis health coaching degree is what we're giving out certificates. So we have a, a group of students who actually took the first classes that are now taking this prerequisite, I mean, the second class. So this is the first class, a five week course. Okay, so it's gonna get you the basics. It's gonna go through everything. It's gonna go from seed to cell. It's gonna tell you about the biological makeup, the chemistry of cannabis, and then it's gonna go all the way to the business part where Mr. Henderson talks about. And then in the other course, the medical cannabis health coaches, they're actually getting a certification to be board certified, to be able to work with doctors and start their own practices with cannabis treatments. So they're giving out a recommendation 
options to help doctors who may have not studied cannabis or had the time to take one of our five-week courses. And they're getting a credential for MCHC or certified MCHCs, they're certified medical cannabis health coaches, and they're learning how to do ratios, they're learning how to uh, ratio recommend cannabis according to their diagnosis and their health ailments, and um, they're excited. So we're doing that and, and actually helping them start businesses. So they're getting a business aspect of medical cannabis health health coaches as well. So we're just wanting to shout those students out. You all know who you are, and thanks for watching. Also, Miss Red's Remedies, Miss Alma McKay has her product that she is now in getting ready to infuse with hemp cannabis all right so we're getting excited for her pain relief we know it helps and it hits on those receptors that cb1 that cb2 receptor in the body causing those pain blockages to happen and so we've taught her everything she needs to know to go ahead and infuse her products and she's excited yay awesome the Braves, you all know about the Braves going on right now in the World Series. And so they've already won three yeah, last yeah. night. Yeah, they're up. I mean, oh, my gosh. I think um, here in Atlanta, we're getting ready to celebrate. Yeah. All right. So. Oh, it's going to be me. <laughs> yeah, all right. Go, Georgia. <laughs> yes. All right, so we were just last night at the wonderful Erica Badu concert, honey. It was off the chain. We want to shout out to those who helped us at the concessions. And if anyone wants to work in concession, just call us. Let us know. We're always looking for help at the State Farm Arena. So we were in the house with Miss Erica Badu. Bad, bad, bad. It was fun and it was exciting. So we just want to shout her out. And all of the people who were out there, the Badus, the Martians, ah, that's what we call them, the Martians, they was out there um, in the land of the, it was dreads everywhere, it was, uh, it was angst, it was all kinds of stuff out there, it was wonderful, so I hope you all enjoyed it as much as we did. Shout out to BJ. Yeah, BJ. Man. Yes, yeah, man, we met this dude named BJ last night. Man, we did. It was pretty cool, man. And Nate. So if you're watching that joint, man, yeah. shout out to the crew. Shouts man. out to Nate, the crew. We made BJ. it. Uh, yes, uh, man. And everybody that get down with us. Yes, the everybody farm, that gets down. All right, Mr. Dr. James Jones. Uh, we want to shout out Mr. Keith. All of y'all are, are with the EACL partners, Mr. Michael Reddick, yeah, yeah. everybody that's in the nonprofit arena that's getting ready to work all of these stadiums and these arenas. We're shouting you out because the Gift of Life Community Home is helping those in the community and getting everybody back to doing something productive and having a, a, a nice way to help themselves heal with myself. I'm, I have organic regimens. I have all the herbs and vitamins. So if you ever get a little cough or a sneeze, or you just call me. I'm going to tell you what to do. All right. So, Mr. Henderson, what else we got going on? Oh, Snoop Dogg. Rest in peace to Miss Beverly Dogg Tate. Yes, that's a tragedy. We just celebrated his birthday last week. Yeah. And now this. This is so tragic. You know, he was very close to his mother. So we just wanted to send our deepest condolences to the family and know that we're, we're keeping you in our prayers. Yes, so sorry. Also, remember Ms. Javita Moore? She was Atlanta, um, you know, legend. She was uh, the news anchor who was battling with brain cancer. And I hate to hear this kind of stuff. And I kind of wish that I was everywhere at one time, but I can. And I just wish I would have known her and had an opportunity to work with her with her cancer and, and be able to help, you know, with anything that I could have been able to do. But we send in our deepest condolences to her family as well and uh, to Atlanta everybody who watched her show and things like that and so we just you know keep everyone in prayers um, again we send our deepest condolences if you have any questions or concerns please give us a call Mr. Henderson what's that number again 888-959-2093 or you can call us right here at the show right now 470-251 4647. Right. All right. So last week we said we were going to give out tickets. All right. Hotel tickets. All right. To stay at a wonderful, nice resort in uh, one of the four areas. Um, there were uh, Gatlinburg, Tennessee, 
Las Vegas, Nevada. All right. And where the other two? Myrtle Beach. All right. And uh, there was another one. Orlando. 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 All right. So guess who we're going to choose today? Since I don't have a cup with any names on it. Everyone who shared gets a ticket. Woo! <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Woo! That's right. <laughs> now, what you get is a three-day hotel accommodations at a, at a at a luxury resort yes. ca slash casino. Now, these folks going to have some good food. They're going to have some good <laughs> entertainment out there. You're going to be around some good, wonderful people. Mm -hmm. All right? That's right. That's right. And uh, we're just sponsoring. We're we're helping out just as much as we can. So we're excited to be able to provide those. So if you can, give us a call. Or if you want to, how do they get in touch with us to get those tickets? Uh, they could uh, call 888-959-2093. They could send a message to on the Holistic mm -hmm. Cannabis Show on, on our Facebook page. On so our Facebook page. So we know who page. you are. And, yes. And guess what? If you're one of the people that shared the show, yep. boom, when you send that, it's going to show up right it's there. It's going to show us right, who so shared. Come on, That's come on right. let's go. Come on, let's go on a trip. Yes, yes. We'll be we'll ready. send you on a trip. We're going to send you on a trip. Send y'all yeah. away. Trips are holistic. Let me tell you about They're trips. They're refreshing. Everybody they needs help. refreshing. Right, right. So, you know, everyday stress, it makes people anxious. It gives you, uh, you know, all these bad hormones. You know, your body actually starts responding to stress in a bad way. So, vacations de-stress you. They are supposed to help you feel your best. So I recommend, I'm the doctor that recommends vacations all the time. So that's why I got into the travel industry so that I can help you go ahead and take that vacation and de-stress. No matter what's going on, I got a herb for that. All right. So uh, we want to thank everyone for viewing the show. And what else we have? Our other sponsors. Do we have any more sponsors? Shouts out to um, the Ocean Spet Seamoss, Sanitize My Empire. We want to shout them out. They're a very good cleaning service. We also have another cleaning service that we don't have their um, information yet, but Cindy has started a, a cleaning service, a good, for, a good dear family member, and we want to go ahead and, and get her information. And if you have a business and you want to advertise on the show, we want to hear from you. We want to hear your business and get your business spotlighted right here on well, the Holistic Cannabis Show. Business. That's right. <laughs> We're going to give them the news, we're going to give them the information, and we want to shout you out. So please give us a call. You know the number, 888-959-2093. Speaking of, I want to give a shout out. All right. I want to give a shout out to one of the, since we talk about businesses, Yes. one of the most best trusted persons. Mm hmm to have you ushered or have a loved one ushered into eternity. Okay. He gonna put you away real nice mm -hmm. for a real love price. Ooh. I want to shout out to Mr. Lee Slater. Ooh. <laughs> All right. Shouts out. Shouts out. All right. Anybody else have a business? So we want to shout you out. Shout your business out as well. Give us a call. And again, if you have anyone who wants to work in the stadiums, that's the arenas, that's the American Airline, that's State Farm Arena, that's Mercedes Benz, that's even the Cowboy Stadium. <laughs> All right, we are helping to staff, and if you need to get some extra time, if you have community service that you need to pay for, or if you just need a couple dollars, right, we are helping right. out in that arena, in that field of work. So give us a call again. We want to thank everybody for watching the show, our Canaween episode and Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Until next time, we say... <laughs> Woo! <laughs>